How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Geekbass. I don't need to put this. I just pulled up to the spot here and we're going to do some fishing. Catch and cook if anything because my brother hit me out. He's like, dude, the fish that you've been waiting for all year is biting and you need to go now because the water is dropping fast. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go get something to eat because I've never done a catch and cook for this type of fish before. So if you guys want to watch, make sure you guys stick around. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right into it. Stay tuned. Just woke up from my bed. I have no home. I just sleep in my car. Today we are on a very special mission looking for some yellow bass. Hey, look at this guys. I got no waders so I'm just gonna go straight in with my crocs and socks. Another thing too is that I didn't even bring any of my freaking fish string right. So I'm gonna take my sleeping bag here. The string on the sleeping bag. I'm gonna make a string out of it. <laughs> yep. I'm just gonna cut it just like that and I'm gonna keep a few for for dinner or else I'm gonna die out here it's all I got to survive with so yeah it's our situation today so it's long enough to keep like five fish all right guys so we made it I'm excited today we are using red worm as always when we come here because I love red worm fishing I just know that the water is pretty dirty it's not bad it's pretty dirty and um we're gonna have a good time i know it let's see oh i got a fish bro yeah hey yellow bass dude i got the first yellow bass they get bigger than this too nice first yellow bass bro got him there you go Jeez! Got a little yellow bass, guys. Yellow bass fishing today. Oh, there we go. Much better. Nope, just a little guy. Dude, that's so fun. I'll show you guys more. Got another one. Man, that's cool, dude. Gotta find the bigger ones. I think the bigger ones are in the current. Oh, dude, it's a nice one. Yeah. Much better. Yep. I'm keeping this one. Because I don't think they get that big. Yeah, because there's no limit on these anyway, so... We got to start our batch here. <laughs> there we go. Alright. <laughs> we got a small one. <laughs> That's a small one, dude. Oh my goodness, man. Every cast. Oh, it's a better one. I'll keep this one. Yeah, I just want some. Yep, yellow bass. It's okay. It's not that big, but it's okay. Get down the scale. Yeah, just get the scale, you throw thing. Good eating, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got a fish on my bobber, bro. What the heck? Oh. It's a bluegill, dude. Bro, Danny, I'm trying to. Dude, I'm trying to put the fish on my line here, and I got a fish on my other line. Like. Man, this is insane. Jeez, man, what the heck? Bro, I'm still trying to... Dude, I'm still trying to tie the fish on here, and then I'm getting wrecked. Look at this. Jeez! I'll take it. Yeah, take it, man. Excellent. Yeah, careful, okay? Yeah. Alright, guys, so here's my setup. I'm running the piece of front cover next to 1000 four pound test floral with the Fenwick Elite Light Finesse Rock 6'9 light action. A jig head 116 pounds with the weight. Okay, just to get down there faster with the current. And a slip bobber and a little bobber stop right there. It's about like a like 16 inches only, so it's not bad. It's drifting bobber. Oh my god, and it goes under. Man, dude, so fast. Like right here, watch. I can't even talk to you guys right now. Look. Look. Oh, dude, I got one. Oh, it's a good yellow bass. But not big enough. I'm let it go. But this is like my finesse rod right here. Non stop action. It's so much fun. Look, already going down. Already, bro. Bro. This is crazy. Look at this. 
Yeesh. Non-stop action. Yellow bass. Oh no, it's okay. There's a lot, man. We'll, we'll catch it together. Yeah. Look, see, I got one right here. Hey, oh, that's a big one, dude. Yes, much better. Yeah, much better fish. Oh, jeez, much better fish. Yep. I got no stringer, so it's gonna have to do for now. There we go. Dude, that's a smallie. Bro, Dan, I got a smallie, bro. Good fight. I haven't seen you guys in forever. Got another one, guys. Lots of money. Let me show you guys what we're doing so far. Nice. All that. I love watching that bobber shoot down. Oh, it's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Man, that's so cool. It's going to be some good fish fry. All right, guys. So, so far, insane. Like, I probably caught like 50 fish already. <laughs> So we're going to keep fishing and just show you guys the big ones, okay? Just using red worms. Catch so much fish. It's stupid right now. Unbelievable. Like finally, this spot finally turned on. There we go. That's a big fish. Big fish. I got a big fish. Yep. Oh, big bass, dude. Danny, you got a big bass. Big bass, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, I got a big bass, bro. Yep, got to stay over here. Oh, dude, it's a nice smallie. They had two-pound smallie. Big smallie. Wow, I think it's massive. Whoa, oh, dude. Let's go with the power of red worms. Dude, Dane, it's a good smallie. Wow. That's a really good fish, dude. Woo! Look at that. Oh, boy, Danny. It's missing out. Dude, that's a nice fish. Yep, that's a really nice fish on four pound test. Dude, Danny, I wish I could show you this. <laughs> stop, 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 dude, that's a good fish, dude. Yes, dude, let's go. It's a good fish, dude. Wow, look at that, guys. Gorgeous fish. All right, put it on the string. You're okay. <laughs> yep, good fish going back. Dang. Oh, dude. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Whoa. This one. Sheesh. See that? Yo, you see this? Yeah. Get to my homie here. Dude, look at that. Holy macaroni. Careful, okay? Yep, got it. Thank you. That's a big fat. Damn! Look at the back on that thing. Show me real quick. Yeah, can we'll we grab can it, guys? It. Yeah, look you can't grip it. Careful, Ooh. careful. Yeah. Look at good that. enough, good enough, yep. Alright. I don't want you to lose it, so it's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Lost. You lost it! Oh my god. <laughs> he dropped it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man. He lost it. <laughs> it's okay. Alright guys. So, threw it in a bucket. 
Like I said, they're not the biggest, but they are very tasty and sweet at this size. So we'll see you guys when we get home. Do a little catch and cook for y'all. So all I'm doing here is the scales are really tiny. You don't, you probably don't even have to scale it, but I'm going to anyways, in case I do want to save some for tomorrow. But I'm just taking the scale off. Real simple, right? Easy. They do have very sharp fins. Okay, very sharp fins. So be careful when you're doing it. Hold your forks a little further away. You can just you know rub it. The scales aren't so like tough, so it comes off really easy. Like it peels right off. I'm barely using any force right now, and it's just it's rubbing right off. That's the nice thing about yellow bass. It's very simple to just descale them. If that make any sense? See that? That is a nice yellow bass. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm gonna get the fish fry Cajun. My boy Dow showed me this, it's lovely. I was gonna do just salt and pepper, but I think we're just gonna do this with some eggs. Maybe we might do some, you know, black pepper and whatever, but you guys know what I mean. What's nice is that I took a little break and I put the fish on a napkin and dried them all up. Okay, so that's what they look like right now. And they are delicious, y'all. Oof, I love eating these. Usually I just do like black pepper and salt and just deep fry it, but we do the Cajun style today. Nope, we gotta be perfect eggs. I think it should be enough. If you need more, we'll just add more. Just do three for now and we'll soak the other ones in a bit. Nice little coating for the fish here. Alright, let's put the fish in here. Get it on the inside. Okay. Nice coat to make that skin nice and crunchy, you know. Just like that. You know, not a crazy layer, but just enough to say it's in, okay? Oh, it's sizzling. So you gotta hurry up and do the other two now. So I'm cooking it a little slower because I don't want the meat to start busting on me. So there it is. Nice and slow fish fry. This is what you call fish fry. The whole thing guys. The whole thing. Can't find my tongue so I'm just gonna use chopstick to flip it. <laughs> oh yeah. That looks nice. Oh, that's so juicy. Oh yeah. Nice fish fry. Alright, I think one of these is ready. So, we're gonna go ahead and take this one out. The skin is breaking off, so I'm assuming it's ready. Drip. Put on my towel right here. Woo! That's so exciting, man. I think these are ready too actually. These are like kind of pop and locking, you know? Pop and locking on me. So just give it like two minutes on these. It's a pretty thin fish. I think it'll be ready anytime soon now. I'll just show you guys what it looks like afterwards. Ooh, it's hot, it's hot. So growing up as a kid, I've always ate these whole just like this. 
Nothing wasted, man. Absolute gorgeous. And no, I mean, I have rice. I have sticky rice, but I got five fish to stuff in my stomach. I don't want to fill it up with rice, so. Again, guys, no rice. <laughs> Give me at the comments. Leave it down below. I already know what you guys are going to say, man. <laughs> but let's finish up and let's eat up. Let's see, eat. I got a band aid on my chin here. I scratched myself. <laughs> here we go. Look at this. It's like a potato chip. <laughs> it's like a little toy, dude. It is still pretty warm, so I gotta be careful, okay? But first, I gotta start with the tail. It just comes right off like potato chips. Oh my gosh. Absolutely delicious, dude. Oh my gosh. Dow. <clears throat> Thank you for showing me the the Cajun fish by here. Just a head. You already know. Eat the whole thing. So crunchy. So good. I'm in heaven, y'all. Crunchy. Just gotta make sure you chew up all the bone, okay? I'm sure by this. Fins. Mm. Look at that. The mid bone right there. The spine, I guess. Comes right off. And look at the meat. It's like pure white. And with the skin layer to it, it's like gold. It's almost sweet. The fish is almost sweet, guys, if that makes any sense. Here's the other side. That's the skin right there with the batter. Let's peel that off. I'm going to get some more. So good. Wow. So I'm going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of this last fish here and my other two. If you guys like this stuff, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. That way we can do more of these catch and cook videos, guys. The tail is my favorite. Bend the head. Mm. So good. 